You know, I gotta look good for the Leo reading. <laughs> All right, uh, Leo, this is a reading for you. Welcome. My name is Petra, Petra the Spark, and I'm here with my tarot decks and my oracle decks and my rune stones. And we are gonna get into the heart space of Leo. We're gonna look at what's going on under the surface, at the source. Um, so this reading can apply to any part of your life. We're going to see what's going on in the heart of Leo. So apply it where it makes sense for you or however you relate to Leo energy. This is for fixed fire, fixed fire signs. Um, the fifth house. I'm checking in directly with this section of the sky. So this is a very general reading. Uh, the moon is currently in Leo. The moon is transiting through the part of the sky that we call Leo. So we're all feeling that Leo energy and I'm going to tap in and get a read. So this is for the next month, the next lunar cycle, and probably the next six months too. So knowing how the moon, moon works, five of pentacles. Knowing how the moon works, this will apply for the next six months. All right. One more shuffle, Leo. We're gonna start with what is in the heart of Leo? What is, what is the vibration in the heart of Leo? Wow. Huh. Strength in reverse, too. The sun in reverse. There's something you're really anticipating. There's like a heightened sense of anticipation. Maybe it's Leo season approaching. Maybe it's just the summer approaching. Maybe it's everybody coming back outside. Um, you know, maybe you're back at work, back. Maybe you're, there's some kind of, or there's some kind of big upcoming stepping into yourself. Stepping back into who you are, reclaiming who you are. It's approaching. It's like, so close you can almost taste it and it's something that you've been working towards for a while it's like you're just starting to feel yourself again you're starting to get back in your groove maybe it's not even back in your groove maybe it's something that you have wanted for a long time uh stepping into yourself into your power and into, into the spotlight there's something coming up this summer there's something coming up right close that you're really anticipating and you have been pining it's like it's not even pining pining is not the right word what is that like going over and over it fantasizing about it thinking about it uh, waiting for it um working on it the three of wands with the six of cups it's a three and a six it's fire and water it's very like churning this internal churning brewing bubbling like things are generating under the surface and you're like just getting about to step into something that is a version of you that's the most authentic version there's some kind of like ah, i get to really be myself when i when i go there or i get to I'm graduating, so I'm getting to step into my career or I've been on, you know, focused on this and now I've completed that. So I get to go forward into, you know, what I really want to do. There's some kind of like graduating step. I mean, we did just have graduation season. Um, the 
but it's like you've done you've been doing something a long time you've been in putting pouring yourself into something generating a lot of connection and goodwill and so now you're at this pivot point where you're actually looking forward to what you're expecting and it's you that's what you're expecting you're like I finally am going to get to really be me I'm finally really going to get to shine in the way I want or I'm going to get to be myself or expand or there's something that you're just like on the the doorstep on the verge of stepping out into your the most authentic version of yourself yet the fullest version of yourself yet because you've put in a lot of goodwill it's like you know you know you can leave this behind or you can graduate on to the next thing this whatever you're stepping into or whatever is coming towards you it's like you know that everything is good behind you you don't have to look back there's a sense of goodwill or good leaving things well tended you did a good job you wrap things up well you took care of your relationships um so maybe leo maybe you've been on hold because you've been taking care of your relationships right like which way was this okay so. <laughs> why why is leo feeling like this yeah Hmm. taking care of relationships and putting in the work it's like you paid your dues four of swords wheel of fortune nine of cups it's like you paid your dues in some kind of way or um Put yourself on hold almost. Put your wants and needs on hold. Put the things, put your wish fulfillments, the things that were what you really wanted. You're selfish. You, you were unselfish. You were putting all of that on hold for something. But it's done. It's You've done that now. You did it. You succeeded. You wrapped it up. So there's this turning of the wheel. Wheel of Fortune, the 10, this completing of that cycle. You're done putting certain needs of yours on hold for it. You got to a certain point where you don't have to do that anymore because you, this could definitely be taking care of a child, right? Like getting, like taking care of a child, nurturing something to the point that it's doing well enough for you to step away and start thinking about what's next for you. Um, you know, reaching a certain birthday, reaching a certain milestone. Um, right, this could definitely be a child or something that you have nurtured or created that was like a responsibility. You're like, I feel good about the way, you know, you've gotten them to a certain point. You feel good about where you've gotten them to. Um, so it's this completion or there's some kind of milestone. Graduation did just happen. So maybe you're the parent. Maybe it's like, <laughs> right? This kind of, if it's not a child, it's something that you yourself are graduating from, right? It's something that you completed, a creation. Um, you're coming to a completion of that. You got it to a point where you could step away. You got it to a point where you, you know, if it's a business, it's like you got it up and running. You got all the overhead costs covered. You got, you know, your employees that you can trust and you built a certain momentum, a certain rhythm that allows you to like actually step away and explore your passion projects or have a social life finally or something, right? It's like you've gotten this thing to a point where you can step away um it's running on its own that's what i'm thinking too of this wheel of fortune like it's you mastered some kind of cycle you've got it moving in a certain yeah you got the three the six and the nine you got it moving on a certain 
rhythm that allows you to step away and think about expanding, thinking about what's next, thinking about yourself. I like it, Leo. Wow. Oh my God. Oh my God. Wow. <laughs> Oh my God, Leo, okay. Shit, this is, this is big. This is a big deal. This is a really big moment. You've got like nothing but major cards for the rest of the spread. The Knight of Swords is in the middle. With the star, the fool, the magician, the hangman, and the emperor. And the emperor is in reverse. There's a lot of Aries energy here. The fool, the magician, and the emperor. This is a lot of Aries energy. So if it's not an Aries in your life, or if, you know, either... You, Leo, are working with that Aries energy intensely, or there's an Aries coming towards you in the future. Um, or it's that busting out and new energy. That's really all that Aries is, right? It's cardinal fire. It's the first house. It's beginning things. Having a fresh start, having all this energy going in the direction of new creating and here's the wish right here's here's it's like you this is such a huge confirmation that you have put in the necessary nourishment the necessary You've taken care of the things that you needed to take care of. You watered your plants. You took care, like, you gave, you fed your um, animals. You tended to what you needed to take care of, your responsibilities. And it's putting you in this position where you're, boom, starting out new, fresh, fresh plate, uh, fresh plate. <laughs> That's not the phrase. Um, what's the, you know what I'm trying to say. Um, it's clear, it's just like, it's completely cleared the decks. There's nothing on the table there. You have a clean slate. This is what I'm trying to say. Damn it. <laughs> this fucking English language, I swear to God, sometimes this shit is so difficult. Um, I mean, it's my only language I speak, but it's still very insufficient sometimes. <laughs> uh... And weird. English English is weird. It's a weird language. Don't get me started. Um, it's making me think maybe there's something here about words and manifestation and kind of like you are in such a position that almost whatever you speak, whatever you speak on is kind of going to happen. Whatever you speak... Yeah, be be mindful of what you are speaking on, what you're paying attention to, because that is what is going, the road that's going to open up in front of you. Um, if you've gotten yourself into the situation where you actually can step away from something, you've left it in good hands, you've got it set up, you've tended to it, you've completed something, you've reached a milestone, and here you are moving forward with a lot of power there's a lot of power in your words in your hands and what you spend put your focus on i mean that is words and hands and that's gemini season two it's like what are you what are you paying attention to where is your focus what it's like whatever you speak about whatever you look at is going to become your new reality
This emperor in reverse is making me think that you need to be really aware of that power, that you may not be fully aware of how powerful you are at the moment, how powerful your words are and your focus is. Like when you're standing at a crossroads and you're in this position where you're like, okay, I finished attending to this thing here. I did my due diligence, right? Like I, I raised my kids or I got my degree or I, whatever it is that milestone that you've gotten yourself to cycle you've completed and you're, you're at this crossroads looking. There's many roads open in a situation like that, right? There's many different directions you can go. And so wherever you place your focus, that ends up being the new direction. Knight of Swords and the Fool. It's like whatever your your focus becomes critical in this in this kind of moment. Because it's going to establish the next cycle. It's gonna establish which pathway you end up taking on this, you know, with the next version of yourself is this sort of like, oh, I get to explore who I am. I get, to... there's, there's this freedom that I think you've been anticipating. There's this freedom, like, oh, I'm just going to get to be free to be myself. And this tells me like, be very wise about that power. It's don't just, it's not just this free for all. Yes, you will have freedom to look in a new direction, but focus on the direction that you actually want to take shape. Use that power wisely. Make clear decisions too. Like be this Knight of Swords, it's right in the middle. It's like be really clear with yourself. Be really focused. Be really um clear with your words because wow this is it's like yeah this is really interesting and it's feels kind of similar to the reading i did for cancer a couple of days ago um when the moon was in cancer because they there was this like cutting something off they were cutting something out and it put them in the big the big league. It it they also had the Wheel of Fortune and the Emperor, I think. Um it went from small cards to major cards. It had this shift from like playing in the small time to suddenly playing in the big time. Um but for you, Leo, it's it's not that you cut something out, it's that you wrap something up. You wrapped some kind of nurturing, caregiving um create of your creations that you had to put your wishes and dreams on hold for until it was done um it's like the timer has gone off on the the whatever you had baking in the oven the cake or whatever you had baking in in your stove so now you can go outside And so it's this shifting, it's going from the small time to the big time. You're going from the, the minors to the majors. And there is this huge expansion. Um, and this night, right in the middle of all of these majors, it's like, whatever you're looking at is super important. Whatever you're speaking on and paying attention to and engaging with like mentally is super important at this moment. You know, it's kind of like stepping out into the sun, right? And it's like, oh, I'm free to, I finished baking in my cake and the timer goes off and that's done and oh, I check it and everything's good and it's looking good and it's all complete and now I get to go outside and enjoy myself. You step outside and it's kind of like at first, you're like, there's all these different directions. There's all these different sights and sounds and you're, you're like, oh yeah, I'm just gonna go out. But then once you go outside, you have to choose which way you're gonna go.
you have to choose, am I going to go left when I get out of the building? Or am I going to go right? And this is just very, like, it's just like that moment where you're using your mental capacity, your your ability to see and to, to think things through. and to, It's like that is your manifesting power. That is a manifesting power right now. What is Leo's clearest pathway forward? Since apparently you can go any direction you want. <laughs> Wherever you look is a new beginning. Wherever you look is some kind of level up. Whichever direction you go, you're getting to step into yourself in the spotlight. And it's like very, wow. All right, Leo. What is the Leo's clearest pathway forward? So go slow. Here's you, the King of Wands, your card, your King, with Justice and the Page of Pentacles in reverse. Go slow. Go really slow. And I, there's a need to honor yourself honor to know your own worth to know who you are um so that you're you know only moving in directions that are good for you <laughs> right it's not this free for all this is this is like being really um discerning and critical about what allows you to be yourself what allows you to be your most Leo self? Like, where, reconnect to you. Reconnect to your, what makes you happy. Your inner passions and things that fuel you. And be really discerning. Be really, um, you know, anything that's not in alignment with that. Anything that's not helping that forward. you know, it's not, it's not worth your time and attention. It's like, be, be selfish. I mean, Leo's going to love that advice. <laughs> be selfish with your time, with your attention, with the things that you give yourself to, like, be very selfish. Um, protect your fire, protect who, like, who you know yourself to be, like, only go the places that you can really be your full self. And then that you thrive in, you know, that you, wow. Here we have the star again. This, okay. This is saying that your clearest pathway forward is to literally just be yourself. And what serves that or what's in alignment with that will come to you. What, what feeds you will find you. It's like what appreciates you will find you. You have to, be, you have to just be a beacon. The Four of Wands and the King of Wands. You have to just be a beacon of you, of your light, your essence. Who are you? Be that. Advertise it. Be it loud. Be it proud. <laughs> and, 
and the people that love you will find you the people that are you know going to pour into you and show up for you and build you up um and allow you to be this bright version of yourself like ah oh, excuse me I was bitching. Ah. Uh, I can see. Okay. Excuse me, Leo. Yeah, you'll be, you'll magnetize to come towards you if you just shine as bright as you possibly can. There's so much uh, fire here, <laughs> so much Aries and Leo energy, the sun, the king of wands, the fool, the magician, the emperor. The Wheel of Fortune, Sagittarius too, with the Four of Wands. It's like all of this support, and the Three of Wands. All this support, it's like you have poured yourself into something, to your creations, to you, you have completed something, and now is your time to shine. Now it's time to like, be supported to to have your chance you know you you are now the creation you are now your creation you it's it's time for you to be front and center in your life right like there's been these responsibilities that have been front and center that you've had to take care of and you were glad to take care of them you showed up like you you it's not like, yeah, it's not like you were being held from this. You were just taking care of, you had to put somebody else's needs, your creations, ahead of your own satisfaction and, and fulfillment. And now it's your turn. It's your turn for you to be the center of your life. And you will have a lot coming towards you. I see a lot coming towards you in terms of support, um, love, like appreciation, people seeing you for who you are and supporting that. Um, this is a really beautiful reading. This is a really beautiful reading. I think Leo season is gonna be really good for you guys. Um, really, really good for you guys. This is, this summer in general, I think is gonna be really good for Leo. We also have Mars, I think just went into Leo. So maybe you're feeling that push of just like, oh, I, I'm feeling like myself again after a long time of pouring myself into my creation. Like I'm feeling, I'm feeling my juices again. <laughs> the juices are flowing. It's like, you're very powerful you're in a very powerful position. Go slow. Let it come to you. You know, be go slow and be aware. Be mindful. It's it's this is this is telling you like don't, you know, chase after things. Don't accept anything less, right? It's like don't don't chase and don't settle. Just be yourself, shine, shine as bright as possible, take care of yourself, build yourself up. Um, that is your, that is your clearest pathway forward. All that other stuff, like don't chase anything or don't settle for anything. What exactly what you need will come towards you. Almost
almost out of thin air. There's going to be like, this could be a person. This definitely feels like a person that could just step into your life. That's like an, a counterpart, um, an Aries possibly. You know, the, the four of wands is here. It's like, this could be if, if, you know, if you're single or looking to partner, this is a very clear message that if you just be yourself, that person will find you. They will come to you. They will absolutely find you. You have to not settle and you have to not chase. This per the, this is a very strong like Aries, possibly Aquarius, uh, possibly Cancer, but just a very powerful person that it's like they you need to be in your power and you need to be advertising it for them to see you. They will come towards you. Also Libra, but it's very Aries. It's very Aries. It's very cardinal. It's cardinal. And see what Leo is. Yeah, and if you're in a partnership or if you're not looking to partner, like this is just the the support and the movement and the um, you know, the juices are your juices are flowing. The more you can f get yourself feeling good and feeling like yourself again, uh, the more you're gonna get this support in your career, this support from your family, this um, pouring in of care, attention, like people people recognizing you and appreciating you and giving you your dues and your respect, like yeah, wow, this is such a powerful and positive reading. <laughs> Happy to see that for Leo for this season coming up. Feels like a very summery spread too. All this fire. Okay, we're gonna get Leo's power stance as if we need one. This whole spread is a power stance. <laughs> but I'm gonna pull a cosmic card, a animal card, and a rune stone. And together, We'll combine their meanings and we'll get your power move. So what is Leo's power move? What is Leo's power move? Scorpio. Ooh, interesting. So we've got some water to temper all this fire going on. This feels like that pay attention, like, like use your spidey senses, pay attention, pay attention, um, pay attention to like deja vu, pay attention to weird subliminal, like, uh, not subliminal, um, you know, symbols and like hidden meanings and stuff like pay attention to Pay attention. What is what is Leo's power stance? What is Leo's power stance? Okay, we're doing it like that today. Sagittarius. The, the squirrel monkey, the monkey. Sagittarius and Scorpio. Talk about deeper meanings of things. So this speaks about, the monkey speaks about curiosity, experience, experimenting, getting your hands dirty and learning. Yeah, this is like a very, um, perceptive combination. It's like, be willing to play and be, you know, engage in things 
and and be really perceptive about it. They're very they're kind of different, right? One Scorpio is more like reserved, like you know, observing from afar, and Sagittarius is more like observing by being in the mix. I feel like Scorpio gets a good perspective on things because it's like Scorpio gets the drop on it. Like it'll see it coming before it happens. Sagittarius, it's like Sagittarius will be in it, will be in the in the mix and they'll they'll just I want to say it's like Sagittarius won't even get the drop on it. They'll just have their hand their a hand in it happening. <laughs> It's like, it's a very, um, the, the opposite is like being removed and being this removed spectator versus being, experiencing it by being hands on. So this is like, really keep your wits about you as you're experiencing things. Keep your, um, those spidey senses and those instincts and those things that you're not really sure where it comes from and real life experience. Like, oh, I touch this. I smell it, I've tasted, I feel it. That's why it is what it, it, that's how, how I know what it is. That's how I know what's in front of me is by experiencing it. So it's like paying attention to messages that come through your tactile experience, your actual real life, and then paying attention to those like other, you know, just like the things that you can't really explain it or you don't know where that comes from. Um, having being on your toes on both sides being willing to be outside and playing and engaging and sort of stepping back and being removed and watching things play out and see what is the real meaning behind this you know kind of thing like i like that combination scorpio and the monkey okay we're gonna get a rune stone to complete Leo's power stance. What is Leo's power stance? Leo, what is your power stance, your power move? Water. Lagoos. Go with the flow. This is, you know, kind of Pisces-ish or, or even Cancer-ish. It's, this looks, these three together, it's, it's like, imagine a monkey, like, riding down a river, like, in a raft. I don't know why that's what this looks like, like, going with the flow going fast but experiencing every little thing on the way um yeah there's a need to be open there's a need to be like this is your power stance it's being really present and open and curious experiencing things staying in the moment going with the flow Paying attention and going with the flow. Paying attention and playing around and having fun and not taking things too seriously. Like this is taking things seriously and reading into everything. And this is like going with the flow and be like, whatever, it's just, it is what it is. Do both of those things. Like ride that raft and watch everything that's playing out. Yeah, be very watchful. Be very aware of your, your own power. It's kind of like as you're in these beginning phases again, this beginning stage, the fool, the monkey. Um, it's this playful energy. It's like, oh, I get to go outside. I get to have fun. I get to enjoy myself. As you're doing that, it's like pay really close attention. Keep your wits about you. Um, what, what do things mean? Pay attention to the way thing, you, the cues, the signs that you get and 
do it's like use that to be really clear about who you are right use that uh watchfulness to just sort out the things you don't need to be concerned with right the things that don't assist you in being your best self the things that don't feed you that don't take you forward that don't nourish you like like I said, there's no chasing here. There's no um, settling. It's like a lot of discernment and a lot of paying attention and watch watchfulness. And in order to stay yourself, in order to just stay in position so that you can attract the things to you that feed you that move you forward those are gonna, that person or those that support is going to come to you so you need to just use all this spidey senses all this um scorpio knight of swords energy it's like use that to maintain your position to just maintain yourself who you are don't let anybody play you out of your position don't let anything take you off of just, it's like your only mission here is to just be yourself. Just be yourself. It's all going to come to you. Pay attention and be aware so that you can be present and play and, you know, experiment. Like a lot of this power that you have here the power of this moment of completing this responsibility, completing this um, cycle, the beginning of this new cycle, this expansion is all in your ability to play. That Aries cardinal fire. To have fun, to be yourself, to find the places that make you f feel like your best self make you feel most at ease with yourself most easily yourself anything that doesn't it's like that's what that's what all this paying attention is for is to know where you can be yourself the most and go there i mean you're not going to go anywhere. You're going to stay exact. You are going to be yourself and all of the, it's like that comes to you. That comes to you. That's what I'm saying. This, I feel like I'm like going in circles now, but this reading is just so positive. Like I'm hyped. Like I'm hyped for this Leo season for this summer. It's like, oh, you just, it's very empowering. It's just like, just use all all you have to do is focus on just being yourself and this success, this um, expansion, this big time is going to just find you. It's going to just, you already are it. It's, that's all you have to do. <laughs> all right, Leo, how many times can I say that? How many different ways can I say just be yourself? <laughs> Um, I think that's it for today. Yes, is that it? That's it. Okay. Um, thank you, beautiful Leos, for joining me. And um, yeah, like I said, I'll post my shop in the description if you want a personal reading. Hit me up, and I will do. Who's next, Leo? Virgo. We'll do Virgo next when the moon goes into Virgo. So I'll see you for that. And in the meantime, um, stay protected, stay well, stay whole, stay moving through. Uh, yeah. See you around.